Oh crap, load bearing. It's a load bearing wall. Good morning all you beautiful people. Now we got a project ahead of us today that's gonna to take a few weeks to accomplish. Let me show you what it is. So, now this is our staircase. I hope you guys seen the video, pretty proud of it. And this right here is a very awkward storage closet. Now, here's the idea behind it. That's the door, this is the closet, basically on the other side of the house. And this is our kitchen. Now, we like our kitchen a lot, we've done a lot of work, but this is the tiniest pantry I've ever seen. Very inconvenient. So, so far we've been using this closet for, well, a lot of storage. Just look at that, chairs, luggage, baby stroller. By the way, we have a baby on the way. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, brooms, a lot, vacuums, two vacuums, some board games. Now, it's not very appealing to the eye. So here's what I'm thinking. Since we have a mudroom in the garage, we keep all our clothes, our jackets, shoes over there. Our friends, when they come in through that door, they leave their coats on that couch. There's a solution. What I'm gonna do, since the kitchen's right here, I'm gonna knock this door down. I'm gonna knock another section here down. I'm gonna build it out and create cabinets that will go inside of it. And we're gonna call it the butler's pantry. So we can store all of our stuff from this pantry in there. Hey, also, side note, I don't know if you guys noticed, but these builds are gonna take a little bit, and I figured between these videos, I would make these fun little vlog-style videos to show the process as we're going through it. Hope you guys like that idea. If you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. That way I'll keep putting videos out, and you guys don't have to wait like two to three weeks for a video to come out. So without wasting time, let's get to building. <laughs> For all of you who are judging me for turning this into something else and as opposed to a, a convenience storage, look at the stuff that we keep in here. Just miscellaneous garbage. All right, we gotta prep everything. You gotta, we gotta drape things off. We gotta get our mallets, uh, pry bars. Also, make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you, you can walk you through some steps of what I'm actually thinking about designing for the space. So, that'll be fun. So much room for activities to just, let's make this into actually useful space. So, I'm gonna take this fancy little hammer and I'm just gonna start swinging away and, um, and I'll let this canvas tell me what it wants to be. Let's have fun. Did I ever talk to you about this? No? What have you done? Did we discuss this? No? <laughs> did, you, did you say you wanted a, an open concept sometimes in this house? I really like this right here. You like that? A little abstract look. Um, it's open, right? Yeah. <laughs> you work fast. You know, a lot of uh, people are asking me always, what kind of tools do I need to get started with home rental stuff? And this is my basic go-to, tackling any project. A good strong hammer, don't get those small little things. Something with good weight to make some damage. A pry bar, a good one. This is my one of my favorites. A nice stiff putty knife. I mean, this thing does not bend. And then a drywall knife. A drywall knife, as you can see, helps you cut some stuff out. So these little things, probably what? 25 bucks worth of tools, 30 bucks. Get you going, so invest, invest in your tools, guys. Oh, we done good, boys and girls, we done real good. Crap. Perfect, this is a perfect example of just having a can-do attitude, having the right attitude, and we can solve any problem. Here's a perfect example. This right here is a support beam. This is perfect, basically every HDTV show where they're like, hey, let's take down this wall, open the room up. That's what's happening here. That's supporting the upper structure. These are the studs that are coming next to it. They are running 
Well, these are, I believe, 16 footers. No, these are 12 footers. 12 footers going up there. Now, to solve this problem, this is actually perfect practice for one day if I need to take down a wall and put a support beam. This is my perfect practice. I just have to practice doing this in a six foot manner as opposed to, you know, a 12 or 16 foot manner. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this down there and there. And all of this is gonna be gone. Now, since we're gonna cut it there, this is exactly what's going on on top right here. These are studs that are done or stopping and sitting on top of this beam. I am going to pick up a fresh board. This is, a, I believe, a two by 12. And I'm gonna run it across and secure it into this stud here. And then that will be our supporting piece for the top. Now, we're gonna make sure it sits and it's anchored properly. But then at that point, it will open everything up. It will be structurally sound. And then we can patch everything up with drywall. So solving problems. That's what we're in the business for, solving problems. All right, so I got the lumber. I got a box of framing nails, the three and a quarter inch. If you don't have a framing gun, no worries. Just use screws. Just use like at least the three inch screws. And most importantly, I got energy. Not sponsored, but if you guys have a connection to get a Red Bull sponsor, let me know. Why am I? Thank you. In the words of John Malecki, my buddy, safety third. And that is how you put a beam up. So last night we got a lot of work done. We have our beam hung up. This is basically what you always see when the wall needs to be taken down. You got some jack studs here. You got a big fat beam on top. And all this is is a two by 10 that's nailed from both sides and it's sitting on these jack studs. Really happy everything turns out. I'm just glad that we did everything the right way. I would have really hated to take a risk on this and you know risk having any kind of pressure coming down and cracking things and just being a structural issue. So at this point, I feel kind of bad because today we're gonna start doing the framing. I have to bring this back wall up about 12 inches and cap this wall off right here. I feel terrible. I feel terrible throwing away space that could be used for something else, but we have a vision in mind. We want it to look a certain way and uh, that's the mission. So we're gonna accomplish that. So sometimes you gotta make these kind of sacrifice. Let's go guys. All right, so what am I actually thinking for this space? Well, there's a few things. I said we wanna do a butler's pantry because we want something to store all of our groceries and stuff like that, number one. Number two, I wanted to put this space to also double down as a bar top area so we can keep bottles of wine, liquor, anything like that. And rumor has it, resale value, that helps. And the last thing that we wanted to have or add into a home that we always wanna look for is, you'd call it like a multi-use area. So maybe you could put a computer desk or you know a small thing where kids can do homework or something like that. Just something that's close to the kitchen that you could interact so. So here's what we're thinking. This wall is gonna be brought up 12 inches. I'm gonna put a dividing wall right there. Feel horrible concluding that space, but maybe I'll turn it into like a doggy house or something like that for the next owner who has pets or something like that. And then I'm gonna cap off the ceiling from here down. That's gonna allow everything to look like a built-in fitted area. We are gonna do floating shelves coming across here. They're gonna look nice and nice, nice and nice. They're gonna look nice, it's just single nice. And they're gonna go all the way across. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a countertop that's gonna run across with either a middle or a side seat that would allow for a chair to go all the way in. Now I'm gonna make sure it's recessed all the way in. That way it doesn't include any of the whole space here. And I think 
If we do that, we would actually incorporate all the three things we want to accomplish. Food storage, bar entertainment area, and a little multimedia homework desk. So hope you guys like that idea. That's basically the idea that I have behind this project. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. This is the first official blog or vlog entry that we're gonna be doing. I'll maybe do one more, just enough not to reveal the overall space. That way it's still a surprise like a lot of you have already commented. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below if I should continue doing these kind of vlog style entries on top of the big makeover. I'm gonna conclude this vlog entry with this. Remember, courage and sweat, do not be afraid to try and make a mess. Let's go. Oh, and uh, almost forgot, subscribe. Uh, the video will be out soon. I want you to see it. <laughs>